It's Ramsey Dewey, and I'm over here at the Mordor Fight Club in Shanghai, China, training the forces of evil to conquer Middle Earth, or something like that. So, Kivo and I are going to show you some takedown stuff, setting up a single leg and a double leg from inside a clinch. Okay, I need this leg. Kivo is not just going to give it to me. If I pivot this way, which would be ideal, I could snatch up the leg, but that's not going to happen if he's fighting back. They'll fight back a little, and I do this, and look, he's not going to move. I'm just not strong enough to move a whole human being with one arm. So I'm going to push him this way first, sideways, push, push, and he's going to push back, and then boom, that pivot's going to get easy, and now I can snatch up that leg and start playing with it. So one more time, push, push, pivot, snatch up the leg, and now I've got my choice of single leg finishes. Okay? So again, from the side, I'll push him sideways, push, push when he pushes back, pivot, snatch up the leg. Aside from a single leg, what do I have? How about a double leg flare? Okay. So one more time with the double leg flare. Push, push, pivot, snatch up the leg. Switch to the double leg flare. Notice I squeeze his legs together. I drive this knee in between the legs right there. So he can't open up those legs, so I don't get caught in his guard. So I can pass his guard on the way down. Boom! Boom! And move into a cradle whenever possible, because that's a great position. Here, Fibo, you do that to me. So he's pushing me sideways. I give him a little push back. He gets a pivot. Snatches up that leg. Double leg flare. Look at those legs. Useless up in the air. All the way to a cradle. So I'll go, and then you go. Push, pivot, snatch, double leg flare. Okay, and now you. So I'll push, I push back, pivot, snatch it up. Boom. Nice. Maybe we want, we want to finish a single leg variation. There are tons of them. Push, pivot. Look, my head's behind him, so I can take his back and do whichever single leg finish. And I want. Here, you do a single leg finish. So he pushes, when I push back, pivot, snatch that up. Any single leg finish you want. Nice, run in the pipe. I'll go, then you go. Push, pivot, snatch that up. Off swing, that's a great one. You go, then I'll go. There we go. Yep. Push. Pivot. Snaps it up. Pick both ankles. Why not? One more. Yeah. <laughs> and the great thing about this push, it's not a power-based push. It's just a little skip, skip, skip. Like you're a little kid pretending to ride a horse. I don't know, that's how they pretended to ride horses when I was a kid back in rural America. I don't know why. Did you ever do that? Never. Okay, maybe it was a 1970s thing. Anyway, I'm old. I'm old. So we're going to be a, just a little skip, skip, skip. Push. You see that? Again, just a little skip, skip, skip. There's, there's a, a lot of power from these tiny little steps. It's a deceptive power because it doesn't feel like much, but it's enough to budge him, enough to make him need to give me force that way in order to, uh, to balance, okay? And I need him giving me force that way to get the pivot. He's going to get very strong and stable and based. <sighs> Turn this way so they can see my, my face struggling. And I'm trying to uproot him with this arm and it does nothing literally nothing except giving him an advantage but push do the little skipping motion now and now now our work gets so much easier here you do it one more time whatever finish you want so he's skipping i'm stabilizing and my attempt to stabilize makes me unstable i was here Tai Chi nerds on the internet are like, if I just touch you like this, then you give me your energy, and then I, yeah. 
we're not going to do that. But I push, he pushes back. Explain it in terms a child could understand. Otherwise, you don't really understand the move, to be honest. Does that make sense, Fibo? Yeah. I push, you push back so we can grab the dude. Definitely don't expect the change of force. Yes, that makes sense to me. If you got questions, leave them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Now get out there and train. And to help you get out there and train, consider X Marshall for amazing rash guards, shorts, spats, and other training gear. Don't forget to use my code RAMSEY10 for 10% off your entire purchase at xmarshall.com.